Hello. Today, I'm going to talk about my new favorite Markdown editor, Mark Text, and do a little review of it and tell you why I like it. I've been using Markdown lately for my different projects and stuff, for university, for writing notes, and uh, for even like, in this case you can see here, for some like kind of documentation to do with a game dev project. Uh, so I was looking for a, a, a Markdown editor that would work for me, and uh, this one works quite well for me. It is Electron, so some people might not like that, but uh, it, it's fine. Um, so yeah. So you can see here, it doesn't really look like Markdown. It looks pretty clean and nice, but it actually does save into Markdown and it has nice features that allow you to edit it very much like Markdown, but it kind of hides it when you don't need it. Um, for example, if I go to the start of this line and then I go one more, it actually shows the uh, the Markdown kind of the heading hashes. So uh, in Markdown, these denote uh, how much what, what type of heading it is, um, so you can actually edit those um, with like that, but you, you can also click here and you can change it here and do all that type of stuff. Uh, you can see here we have a tick box, so this is the usual markdown thing you kind of, you can do, uh, there's, there's a normal way you usually do them, and this supports it, so you can click and unclick it, and this saves it in a nice markdown format. Uh, it's just really clean. And for example, like you see here, this is bold. Um, if I actually click on it, you can, it actually shows these and I can directly edit them. So uh, I could remove one. Um, in this case, it removes two because it's trying to be handy to me. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way to fix that, but uh, yeah. So you can see there, it does all of that nice formatting. You can also, also um, if you don't like that, you can just literally uh, do it here. It has its own menu if you select it. So you can add, uh, links, you can even add inline maths, we'll talk about that later, underline all that stuff. So all this stuff you'd want, kind of the markdown stuff, um, and since this is markdown you can uh, save it through like version control or something, which is really useful. Uh, this is also super useful because it supports a bit more than markdown. Um, so in this case, if I scroll down here, you can see this diagram here, this is actually a, like a, a dynamic uh, diagram that's uh, like generated on the fly. So if I actually click on this, you'll see here it actually shows up uh, the code that makes it up. So this is a completely dynamic thing. So this is done uh, using the Mermaid framework. I don't know if you call it that. Uh, it's like this uh, kind of semi-markdown. It's not really markdown, but it, it allows you to create diagrams in this very kind of simple, easy way. Um, you can see here, so you, all of these kind of pointing all of these arrows here equal to one of these. You can easily change stuff. So I could say uh, uh, save and that save, you can see that change there. Um, I could just type a bunch of random stuff in there. Uh, that's not happy because I used some some actual things that it, it uses for stuff. But you can see that it actually updates and that's an actual, um, actual kind of thing, which is super useful because you can like, try and move between um, photos and uh, putting images and stuff, but it's just kind of annoying. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, if, you, if you're if you using something like um, Pandoc to convert it, it should be able to do this anyway. Um, but in this case, you can export straight from this program into some pretty nice PDFs. Uh, it also down here, you can see it supports um, maths. So this is using, uh, this is not really pure markdown. This is like LaTeX to do the maths. Um, you can see here it's kind of like the code and so that's a bit more complicated there but it does have that functionality if you want it. Um, but you can see it's just it's nice and simple. It allows me to write my notes. It gets out of my way. Uh, it saves them in markdown which I really like because I really do enjoy using markdown. Uh, it's, just, it's just a clean thing. It keeps in text file. It's I know I'll be able to access them in the future. Um, but it also supports diagrams and stuff. And then if I go up to uh, file and then I go and export this, I can export to HTML or PDF. So let's say export to PDF. Um, gives you a couple of different like styles and stuff you can do uh, here. I like the academic, this looks kind of nice. Um, so if I go ahead and export that, you can see it's actually given us a really nice kind of PDF. So 
uh, down here you can see we've got this and this is actually which I, I really liked when I first used it since the way that this is generated it actually means that um, the PDF or the diagram here the actual elements are selectable so if this is an image you couldn't actually do that but since this is uh, generated the way it is and, and exported the way it is it actually allows you to select all the elements and also here the maths I can select oh, this is not the best thing I'm, but I can select all the individual elements uh, and you can export it to HTML if, if you want it that way or something I just really think it's a nice um, edit text editor so yeah so that's mark text um, I really like it so yeah